it came about was, I think it was Nottingham, one of those Midland uh, camp, uh, cities, back in the 1980s, where there was two people on the street had a fight. And <clears throat> I come to Peter and I said, I'm going to fucking break your jaw. So Peter punches me in the face. Yeah, and then I go, hey, you assaulted me. I call the police. The police, they come and arrest him. Okay, and they take him away. And it goes to court, and when the judge looked at the case in court, he found that Peter didn't have a choice. Okay, and he was defending himself. Because if he didn't hit me, I was going to hit him. Okay, so the judge gave it the name, a preemptive strike. Now, a lot of security companies, security training companies, and martial arts instructors have made a lot of money out of selling preemptive strike courses. I'll teach you how to knock somebody out with one punch, and they've aimed it towards the security industry. We can't do that, okay, because you have to look at the repercussions. As I said to you about uh, the scenario with um, Stringfellow's nightclub, where the door supervisor killed the guy with one punch, okay, you have to answer for that afterwards. Okay, so the alternatives for you, as I've said to you, are open hand, all right? What we're looking at is your conflict management stance here, and there's somebody in front of you, he threatens me, okay, he tells me that I'm going to fucking knock you out. I don't have to stand there and wait for him to try and knock me out. I can react to it. Okay, so we're going to use this a, li a little bit of, um, I'm going to try and affect his senses. I don't want to bang him, but I want to put him off. I want to stop him from hitting me. So what I'm going to go for here, I'm going to go, for, sorry Peter, I'm just getting a pair of goggles, seriously. <laughs> um, I'm going to go straight for the eyes. Okay, and it's, it's called it's called a shredder. Okay, we call it the shredder. Where I'll anchor on, I'll grab onto his neck. Because if I just do this to him, he's just going to back away from me. And again, I want to control him. All right, he's threatened to assault me. I want to control him. So I anchor, I grab, and I ram the other hand, open-handed, into his face, and I start to move it around. Okay, and I mash him up a little bit. No, sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, he'll get his own back of me next week. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not being too aggressive with it, and I'm not trying to poke his eyes out, but I'm trying to upset him. It's a very, very useful tool, very useful for females if it's a male that's being aggressive with you. Don't care how tough you are, how strong you are, how good a fighter you are, if you get poked in the eye, yeah, it stops the fight. Watch, anybody here watch UFC? Ultimate Fighting Championships, the case fighting. Yeah. What happens when, when one of the, and those guys are tough. I mean, those guys are probably some of the best conditioned athletes in the world. What happens in one of those fights? When somebody gets poked in the eye, the referee stops the fight and he allows him five minutes to recover. That doesn't happen in reality, in a real street fight. That doesn't happen. Somebody gets poked in the eye. Oh, hang on a second. Wait for this. Oh, hang on. My contacts come up. Hang on a second. It doesn't work like that. That person is going to pound you into oblivion. Okay? You take an aggressive dog like a, a pit bull or a Staffordshire pit bull, yeah? And it grabs onto your little cat or your little puppy or your leg. Yeah, and it's starting to chew away. One of the most vicious, aggressive dogs. They're used for fighting, okay? You stick your finger in its eye, what's it going to do? It's going to fucking let you go, all right? Normally with its pit bull, you give it a kick, it goes, oh, yeah, all right? <laughs> you stick your finger in its eye, it's going to back off. And that's the advice they give to, to surfers, that if a shark bites, you stick your thumbs in its eye. You stick your thumb in its eye, and the shark will instinctively open its mouth because it in inflicts pain. We need our eyes to be able to survive find food, uh, we might make our way to Tesco now, um, or to protect ourselves from danger, okay? Now, if you look over here with the dummy, I don't want to do it, Pete. <coughs> uh, this guy's heavy. 